it is very cold out here. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Matt Hadley. This is my channel where I just randomly talk about things. And today I wanted to discuss discouragement. What do you do when you get to that point where you just want to give up? You're so discouraged, disappointed, um, you're just frustrated, you're at the end of yourself, you really can't see any way forward, and you just what do you do in that situation? Well, I want to give you a couple things to consider uh, that hopefully will help you out. Because we've all been there, right? We've all been discouraged, disappointed, frustrated, ready to throw in the towel. And oftentimes in those situations, we have some critical decisions to make. And I want to help you make the best one possible. talk about discouragement itself. When we are disappointed, when we are frustrated, we want to give up that feeling of discouragement. <clears throat> uh, it only has to last as long as you want it to last. Really, I see discouragement or disappointment as opportunities to grow and to change and uh, to become something <clears throat> beyond that point of discouragement that I wasn't before. And it's all perspective, of course. Sometimes we can't see that far ahead and, and it's really just difficult for us to see that. But I would encourage you, see discouragement for what it is, that it's not something that has to last, but that you can push through it. when you're discouraged, when you feel like giving up, is are you comparing yourself to someone else? Comparing yourself to someone else is such a killer of motivation. As soon as we see someone else who, who maybe can do what we do better or um, we feel like they do better at it than us, uh, oftentimes it can lead to us just really giving up and not wanting to continue because, you know, what's the point? They already do it so much better than I do it. so. What does it matter if you know I continue on or push through or, or all of those thoughts or ideas? So really try not to compare yourself to someone else because you are unique. You are special. You have something that no one else can bring to the table. You are you and you're the only one who's you. And you know this, but believe that, especially in moments where you feel discouraged or like you're going to give up. You bring something unique to the table that no one else does. And that should be the motivation to continue on and to push through. So another thing that uh, you can consider when you're feeling discouraged, you want to give up. Um, and I've said this in other videos, but it is so true in so many areas of life. Tell somebody else about your uh, disappointment, your frustrations. I can't emphasize this enough to bring someone else in on your discouragements, on your frustrations, on your pain, on whatever is going on in your life is so important. When other people know they can help and uh, they can get you through things that you probably can't get through yourself. And really, honestly, I'm just kind of talking about, you know, frustrations if we're, you know, didn't get the job that we wanted or we worked really hard on a project or uh, so something, maybe that's a little less trivial than, than real life uh, situations. Uh, things that maybe would lead to depression or other more serious things. Uh, so in all of those cases, it's important to let other people know uh, in the small things, especially in the big things. If, if you're really feeling disappointed and you think that it's going to go further than just having a, a gray day or a frustrated day, uh, 
please, please get others involved so that they can help you out. And I think you'd be surprised because when you surround yourself with people that know you, that care for you, that love you, that uh, see um, that see the best in you, even in difficult situations, I can guarantee you that will lift your spirits, that will make your day brighter, and probably will help you push through uh, be that discouragement. last thing I have to say is this. When you're discouraged, when you feel like giving up, recognize it for what it is. It's a feeling. Um, it doesn't define who you are. And I'd venture to say that you're stronger than you think you are in the area of perseverance, that you can persevere through uh, a lot and realize and recognize and accomplish the things that you want to accomplish. I know for my own life, there have been many times where I just feel discouraged and want to give up. Just a lot of different situations and projects that I was working on. Even this here, uh, not necessarily my YouTube vi channel, but my video business. And, you know, is it something that I should pursue or do? Um, being discouraged that I'm not getting as many clients or jobs as I had hoped to get. Uh, and yet, I, I'm pushing through. I'm recognizing that a feeling doesn't determine my uh, trajectory, doesn't determine what I can accomplish, and I'm going to continue to strive and, and work towards that. And I would just encourage you to do the same. Uh, I believe in you, as funny as that sounds from the other side of a camera, but if you're watching this and you know the title, um, I believe in you. I know you can do amazing things if you put your mind to it and uh, recognize that you are more than just a feeling, more than just uh, some, some bad news or whatever it might be in your case. Uh, so push on, push through, see how you can grow, how you can change and learn from that. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing, um, don't live with regrets. That can be another reason to push through, to uh, see your disappointment, your frustration as uh, just a momentary uh, roadblock, but that you can get around and, and really continue on. Sometimes it's when we make that push through the most difficult times that we are, uh, that we see the greatest reward afterwards. So don't let you, so don't live with regrets. Also, 